So first of all, Kate, congratulations on this film. It's so moving and you were brilliant. Thank you, that's so nice of you. So were you aware of the far farming phenomenon before this? No, not at all. And none of my friends, white, black, brown, no one was. And that's what I think is so amazing is that, I mean, Adewale is saying tens of thousands of Nigerian children had this experience. And as far as I'm aware, no one I know knows anything about it. So it feels really special to be part of that. And you and your character is so complex. I felt sympathizing. I found myself sympathizing with her one minute and then disliking her the next. Did you see it like that? Yeah, very much so. And I think, I think, you know, when I was speaking to Adewale about it, I think his his relationship with her was full of contradictions and was conflicted. And he wanted her love and approval so much, but she also made him feel terrible about himself. And um, I, that was really important to me to to have all of that happening because that was his actual experience. And he said that he was looking for someone who also had some maternal instincts, who was a mom as well, to help. So how did being a mom help you on screen? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know my life without being one. I, um, I, think, um, I think her desire for children was very... I mean, you know, a lot of people want kids, but not everybody ends up with ten in the house. You know, I mean, that was obviously a very... It was a very big thing for her that she couldn't have her own children and, and um, almost became kind of compulsive in terms of having so many. Um, but I don't know, I, I, had, I was a bit nervous because, you know, we, we had ten kids, a, a snake, a dog and a pig, you know, all the things that you don't, everyone says, don't work with those. And the, the children were just wonderful and they were just, I loved having them and, and they behaved amazing. They were just brilliant. So I don't know, maybe, maybe that's why. Maybe it's a thing. And you also said you're a perfectionist when it comes to getting the material, asking the questions. Do you see yourself that way? Yeah, I think so. I. I if I'm going to do something, I want to try and do it properly. <laughs> Did you have any pressure, though, because you're playing the director's mother? Or was it any sort of... I mean, not pressure, but a kind of real responsibility. You know, I, I think I think all of us felt very tender and protective of Adewale. He's a really special person to have had this start and to be who he is, who's this incredibly well-educated, open-hearted writer, actor, director, singer, you know, musician. I, He's, he's really come through the fire and, and, the, and he's the most generous, tender person. And, and it's just humbling and um, it's, there's something, some real grace about being part of someone telling their own quite painful story. You know, you do, it did feel really special. And I've nev never seen you in a role like this before. Like I said, you were brilliant. So what's your approach when you're playing a character with so many layers? I mean, I think... I mean, it's sort of always the same. I think you, you're trying to kind of really find the heart of the person and what makes them tick. And, 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 and you know, this character is physically very unlike me. But also, you know, I've been a passionate reader since I was, you know, very, very little. I read really early. She can't read or write. And um, that was one of the really key things for me is that I speak quite a few languages, but they're all European languages. And so because I speak French, I could sort of... I'm pretty, I can manage Italian because of French and because of speaking Russian I'm quite good in Eastern Europe so I can still figure out. I went to China and was felt so unsafe because there was no way of me figuring out the language which I'm so used to doing in any European country because I speak German as well so it all worked and I suddenly thought oh my god this is what Americans feel like <laughs> when they go anywhere you know it's like, it was so weird and I thought what would it be like for me to be in the world and not be able to read or write to me, that would be terrifying. That, that would be really frightening. Yet she's this very tough, uh, capable woman. But that that so dependent on her children reading her letters to her and stuff like that. that I found that just such a kind of important part of the character. Right. And I, as well, they mentioned something about the accent as well that you had to work on. Was that? Did you find that particularly challenging? Um, I found it really important because in England your regional dialect can change within a few miles and so um, I did want to make sure it was really specific and also really specific to the period because somebody from that area now versus someone in the 60s, 70s and 80s sounds actually very different because accents also evolve over time. Um, so I am a bit persnickety about that stuff and uh, and I love doing that. I mean, I, that's a part of you know loving languages and, and, and all that. It all sort of falls under that umbrella for me. So what is something that you look for in a script now that you've done this and you were played? I've done this. It's always the same thing, I think, to keep... I feel I've been very lucky that I've always kind of 
treated my work as a kind of apprenticeship and think, well, okay, well, I've never done that before, so I should probably try and do that, even if I'm not very good, that's the risk, you know, whatever, we'll see. And uh, and it's all been like that. So, so just, just, you know, hoping to continue having the chance to keep doing different things. And did you lighten the mood on this set because it's a bit of a heavyweight subject, so, you know, you were pranks or anything? It wasn't that sort of movie. And thing is, it was also quite, because it was a low budget, it wasn't six months long. I mean, that, those are the ones where you start ending up having to really pull pranks because it's right. six months, you know, and right. you basically become family. But I think we were very respectful. I mean, it was, some of the scenes were very harsh and hard going. Um, but actors always find a way to, you know, to bond and get along. Yeah. And let's see, what's next for you? Um, I just finished an a eight-month, um, an eight-part series called The Widow for Amazon ITV. Oh, okay. yeah. Thank you so much for chatting with us and wishing you all the best. And like you said, you were brilliant with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's nice meeting you.